Hi dear brothers and sisters and welcome to the BB Ed channel for those of you who are visiting. Um, today is the 8th of February 2024 and I'm uh, recording this video in uh, the small country of New Zealand at, right at the base of the Pacific there. Um, so welcome. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Um, I have a really incredible story to tell you. It's just happened in the last few, few weeks. I've actually labelled it a modern day miracle. And I believe it's a testimony to the fact that our God is real. So pre be prepared to be challenged. Be prepared to feel your jaw drop to your knees. Because that's what happened to me. I couldn't believe it. I was awestruck and so grateful to the Lord. It's an incredible story, so let's get started. Now, none of this could have happened without the Holy Spirit being in work, at work in the believers because this story is so incredible that nobody could have orchestrated it but Abba Father. And that's where the Holy Spirit come from, comes from. When Jesus died on the cross and took our sins, um, he bore our sins so that we might be forgiven of all the weight of all the wrong that we've done from all generations. And when believers put their faith and trust in God's Son, Jesus, they receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is part of God and you start to have a relationship with the God Almighty. It's an incredible concept, but it's true. Now, um, just before I start, because I was speaking about the Holy Spirit, I just want to read John 16, 13 and 14, which is about the Holy Spirit. So this is from the Word of God, the Bible. When the Spirit comes, who reveals the truth about God, he will lead you unto all truth. He will not speak on his own authority, but he will speak of what he hears and will tell you of things to come. So everyone, I believe that in this case, the Lord, three years ago, was giving us all, through the messages that I presented to you, the heads up on something that was to come. And just in the last few weeks, the Lord has also given this very same message to um, Troy Black. He has a prophetic ministry on YouTube. He has a huge following. And I do listen to quite a lot of his messages because I really respect the way he presents um, God's word, um, how he speaks about Jesus, the Son of God, and how he presents his me uh, messages in a very responsible way. Um, so I do listen to Troy and I was absolutely blown away to hear the message that God gave me three years ago coming out of Troy Black's mouth. And the incredible thing is that this message was so cryptic, so symbolic, and yet God gave the same symbolism to Troy. And the themes are so, so similar. And so, brothers and sisters, I just feel it's really important to confirm this link that the Lord has made between the message he gave me and the message he gave Troy. Now, I have tried to contact Troy Black and I've been unsuccessful, um, but I have great respect for the man and um, I'm not going to add anything to what he said. Um, and I would recommend that you go and watch his video as well. And I will give you the information at the end of this um, message. So the incredible thing was one, the first miracle, the message was given three years apart to two believers that live 6,500 miles apart at least. They don't know each other. At the time I was given the first message, I had no idea who Troy Black was. Um, so it's not, and I, I very, very much doubt he knows anything about me either because I don't have the sort of um, publicity that he does. So um, that in itself is incredible and the other thing that is truly incredible is the duplication of the main themes that is absolutely jaw-dropping. Jaw -dropping. 
So what this video is not about, it's not about me and my prophetic messages. It's not about Troy Black and his prophetic messages. It is about God the Father reaching out to mankind. God wants you to realize that he is real and he wants to have a relationship with you. He wants you to hear him through the Holy Spirit. And most of all, it's about his son, Jesus Christ. And when I asked the Father what to put in the video, he said it's to be based on Jesus Christ. That is the true message that he wants to get out. That he sent his son to take your sin so that you can put your faith in him and have a relationship with God the Father. That is the true message of, of this video. But let's get on and I'm going to tell you the miraculous story. So three years ago, I was given the theme of the moth, the moth figure. And it was explained to me by the Lord that he was going to be a prominent, influential person in the end times and that he was coming soon. And I had no idea why he was called the moth. Um, so that's what I'm saying. I had to bring it to you feeling like, although this seems bizarre, this is important. So the first thing the Lord showed me was a vision of a cocoon. Um, there was quite a story around that. I'm not going to go into it. Please go back and see the original video. Months later, the Lord told me that this moth figure, the cocoon, had opened. Now, I'm just going to flip through these really key main themes that both my Troy and myself have received. And so I'm just going to give you the bare bones. Um, so the first theme is the cocoon. I was showing the cocoon in a vision. And then the Lord told me that the moth had come out of it, that he had, it had hatched. Troy Black in December 2023 heard this. That this moth figure was going to be a giant of the land, but stowed away for a time in a capsule waiting to hatch. Now this is how God speaks. He speaks in metaphors. He speaks symbolically. And I believe this is exactly the same concept that Troy got, that um, this figure was going to be encapsulated and be released or hatched. Okay, so that was the first main theme that was the same. Three years ago, I brought to you that he was going to be an end time figure. The Lord told me he was called the moth. He said, yes, it's about the moth. And um, he showed me this vision, which you see before you. He showed me the moth as a man sitting in a very grand chair. And I explained, explained in my video that I didn't believe it was a throne, that he wasn't royalty, but he was going to have a seat of power and of significance. And um, beside the moth in the chair was another figure who was symbolized as an animal. And this animal was a stag with antlers. I'm not going to go into that right now. Um, I'm just going to go to the main theme and what Troy Black heard, which is so similar. So Troy Black was told this man was called the moth man or the mothra. And he was told that a moth will rule the USA. Troy actually called his video these words. God told me who the president of the United States, who will be president of the United States. So once again, Troy has re received uh, the information that he is called the moth, that he is going to have a position of power. And he's got that little bit more information um, that I didn't receive three years ago. And this is how God works. He gives us a dim image, a story where we don't see everything in its clarity. And then he will add to it. And the miracle is that he's used somebody else to add to it. I am just blown away. Okay, so once again, we have to take these things to God and ask him, is this prophecy true? Um, I really, really encourage that. 
the next main theme is that the moth will have a right hand man. This came out strongly in my messages. Um, I, as I said, received the vision of the moth and the stag. I in, really uh, went to the Lord and asked him who the stag um, figure was. The Lord didn't give me their name, but he said that they were going to be working in partnership. The way he explained it was this, that the cover of one is going into the other. And he showed me a vision of two cell phones, that, I'm sorry, one cell phone, but the cell phone had a cover on it. And then I saw another, oops, sorry, clear cover coming over the cell phone and overlaying um, the first one. So I knew there was going to be a firm partnership between these two figures. So uh, Troy Black also mentioned uh, that he, uh, this uh, Mothman would have a um, right-hand man. And he also said these words, the cult following of one is going into the other. Now Troy said a lot of other things about this relationship. So uh, you will appreciate that when you watch his video. And lastly, everyone, the other most draw-dropping drop, thing about all this is three years ago, and it's in my video, no word of a lie, <laughs> the Lord actually gave me the name Troy. And I had no idea why. And brothers and sisters, you can see here, um, I've put this the um, Trojan horse figure here because the Lord also linked this Troy um, with the story of the city of Troy and the Trojan horse. And I'm not sure of the symbolism of this part yet, but I firmly believe there is no mistake that the Lord gave me the name Troy. And I believe that he has done this for his glory and for his honor and to glorify his son, Jesus Christ. When I asked the Lord if I could share this message and the duplication that had happened with these main themes, he said to me, I did that. He did that. He duplicated it between me and Troy and it was the father that orchestrated it. Isn't that incredible? Hi everyone, just a very quick um, sketch of where to find the different videos. I'll just leave this, you can stop your screen and write down this information or take a photo of it with your cell phones. I'll try and get the links to these videos on um, in the comment section at the top. I'm not very good at those sort of things, but I'll work really hard at getting that right. So I've just given this information um, as a backup. So you can see here the two videos I did three, three years and two years ago. Um, I've recommended you go to the 12 minute mark of the second video. Uh, otherwise, um, you, you will just waste your time because the first 12 minutes is about something else. Um, it's just a little bit more information about the moth figure. Um, so it is worth going to that. Um, and then there's Troy Black's video there. God told me who would be the president of the United States of America. And I've got to finish with something about Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ. What a beautiful name. When I asked the Lord what to say about his son, he gave me that gorgeous song, Jesus, what a beautiful name. And I couldn't help thinking, he did this for you. He carried his cross. You can see this figure here in the, in the picture. The weight of the cross and the extra weight of the burden of sin of all mankind was carried by Jesus on his shoulders until his death. He was obedient unto death from the moment he presented, was presented to this earth as a baby and walked through that 30 odd years of life. He carried that burden. He knew what was going to happen and that he would have to give his life for the Father so that mankind could be redeemed and have a relationship with him. Jesus was part of the Father. He was one with God, the Lord Most High. He was there from the beginning of creation and was revealed as a babe um, in a manger all those many 
thousands of years ago or two thousand odd years ago. God didn't want heaven without us, but he brought heaven down through his son that we might have a relationship with him. I hope that this message helps you believe in the Christ.